Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential equation. This is actually a video response to black pen, red pen. We made a video on this problem a while ago. I'll share the links down below. And then I just wanted to uh, make a video on this as a video response. And I'll be presenting two methods. So let's start with the first one. For my first method, I'm going to go ahead and split the 6 into 2 times 3. And then I'll put the 2's together and the 3's together. And it's, it's going to give me a really nice equation, but I have a 2 in the base and the 3 in the other base. So we have two different bases, but that's not a problem. Uh, I can use any base I want, by the way, and I just want to use base 3 here. Let's go ahead and log both sides with base 3. So let's see what happens. So I'm going to log this and log that, and I'll be using base 3. As you know, when we log uh, a power, we can go ahead and move this to the front, and we can do the same thing here. So it gives us the following, x minus 1 multiply by log with base 3 of 2, and that is equal to 1 minus x squared times log 3 with base 3. But that's equal to 1, so I don't really have to worry about it. We can just write it as 1 minus x squared. Great. Now, I know some of you are thinking, hey, why don't we just cancel out the x minus 1 from both sides, so on and so forth. You don't want to do that because you'll be losing some roots. So instead of canceling out, let's put everything on the same side. So x minus 1 log 2 plus x squared minus 1, the whole thing is equal to 0. Awesome. This is much, much better. Now, we're going to go ahead and factor out something. So we're going to factor x squared minus 1 using difference of two squares. And then that's going to give us a common factor, which is x minus 1. So now we can go ahead and take out x minus 1. And then inside the parentheses, we're going to have log 2, of course, base 3, plus x plus 1. And the whole thing is equal to 0. Now we got a product, so that's kind of nice. So we can um, tell from here what the roots are because we have two linear factors. Notice that the second factor is also linear because it's x plus something. This is numerical. And the other factor is x minus 1. So that's fairly easy to do. If you set it equal to 0, you get x equals 1. So that is going to be one of the solutions, which we can easily check, by the way. Because if you go to the original equation and replace x with 1, 2 times 3 equals 6 is definitely going to work. Great. So let's go ahead and take a look at the other solution, which is not that straightforward, but it's fairly easy. So we can write this as log 2 base 3 plus x plus 1 equals 0. From here, if you wanted to isolate x, you would write it as negative 1 minus log 2 with base 3. Okay, great. So that should be the solution, right? But there's other ways to write it. So I can go ahead and write the x in a different form, such as I can first of all plot a negative 1, and write the 1 as log 3 with base 3. And of course, that's going to be a plus sign. And then using properties of logarithms, if you have log A plus log B, of course, they have to have the same base, right? So you kind of have like a log A plus log B that is equivalent to log AB. Of course, uh, in order for these to be well-defined, A and B both have to be positive in this case. And they are positive, so they're good. Now, we can go ahead and combine them. So we can write the X as log 6 with base 3 because 3 times 2 is equal to 6. So we're supposed to multiply the arguments. Make sense? Okay, so those are going to be the solutions, and we only get two solutions because this kind of turns into a quadratic equation. We're going to have a better idea about what, why this is a quadratic equation when we do the second solution method. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the second method. For my second method, I'm going to do something different, of course, right? Instead of separating the twos and threes, I'm just going to align both sides. How about that? When you have exponents, especially when the exponents are variables, you definitely want to ln or log both sides. In this case, I use ln. You can also use log. doesn't matter. So if I ln this product, that's going to give me 
the sum of two ln's by log properties, right? And then we're going to move the powers like before, but we got to be careful. What is that power here? The power is x squared and x, right? So those are the powers. We're going to move them to the front. This one and this one. Kind of going to move them like this and like that. So it's going to give us x ln 2 plus x squared ln 3 equals ln 6. And guess what? This is a quadratic equation in x. All right? So let's go ahead and rearrange the terms a little bit to make it look better, like more like a quadratic equation. So ln 3 times x squared plus ln 2 multiplied by x minus ln 6 equals 0. What is a quadratic equation? can be written as ax squared plus bx plus c, where a does not equal 0, and our equation can exactly be written like that. So this is a quadratic equation. Therefore, we can use the quadratic formula, right? Okay, great. But one thing to keep in mind here, you can just go ahead and use the quadratic formula. Let's go ahead and use it, but I'm going to go back to this and tell you something about it. So allow me to uh, set up the quadratic formula first. So x is going to equal negative b plus minus. I know that's, I write the plus minus differently. Square root of b squared, which is ln 2 squared, minus 4 times a times c. But c is negative, so that's going to turn into a positive. Make sense? And all of that is going to be divided by 2 times ln 3. Awesome. So this might look complicated, and if you go back to the first method, you're going to realize, like, what the heck is this coming from? Like, where is this coming from? We have x equals 1. It's as simple as that, and the other one is also not that bad, right? But look at this. This is messy. Okay, here's the reason. I want to go back to the equation, like I said earlier, and tell you something. Notice that we have the following equation, and look at the coefficients. What are the coefficients? ln3, ln2, and negative ln6. What do you know about them? Well, ln3 plus ln2 minus ln6 is ln6 minus ln6, and that's equal to 0. Why? Where does the ln6 come from? From properties of logarithms. Remember, I told you, if you have the sum of two logs, then you can write down those arguments as a product. Or, basically, you can write the sum of two logs as a log of the product. Make sense? So, what, is that? what does that tell you? It tells you that the sum of the coefficients of this quadratic is 0, which means x equals 1 is always a solution. So that's one way to approach it. Another way to approach it is, of course, you can just simplify this gigantic expression, which you're going to find x equals 1 at the end. I'll show you how. Let's go ahead and do it. So I'm going to go ahead and write it as, instead of, Okay, why don't we just stick to this first? And then I'll show you what the, how the quadratic formula simplifies. So x equals 1. After finding x equals 1, without using the quadratic formula, how can I find the other value? Well, I could use what's called Vieta's formulas. And I made a video on Vieta's formulas. You can check that out. And by using that, you can safely say that, hey, the product of the roots, x1 sub x2, x sub 1, sub, x sub 1 times x sub 2, is equal to c over a, which is... <coughs> excuse me, negative ln 6 over ln 3. But since we know that one of the roots is 1, the other root is just what this is equal to. So from here we get x2 is equal to negative ln 6 over ln 3, which could also be written as negative log 6 with base 3. So there's a couple different ways to write it, obviously, but they turn out to be the same thing at the end. Make sense? Okay, great. Now, what would happen if you try to simplify this? Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that here because I kind of need some room and then show you how to simplify this expression. That's kind of fun. So here, I'm going to square this and also write the ln6 as write the ln6 as ln3 plus ln2. Remember, we were able to break it down or kind of condense or expand, right? because uh, 3 times 2 is equal to 6. So I'm going to write it this way. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and distribute this. So let's go ahead and focus on the inside first. What is ln2 squared plus 4 ln3 times ln3, which is well, ln3 squared, plus 4 ln3 times ln2. So that is a perfect square. Isn't that perfect? This is ln2 plus 2 ln3 quantity squared. That's not discriminant, actually. But we're going to square root it. 
So we're going to get the plus minus sign. So the square root is going to cancel out. Square is going to cancel out. So we're going to get the following. Negative ln 2 plus minus ln 2 plus 2 ln 3 divided by 2 ln 3. And then we're going to split up from here. We can write negative ln 2 minus ln 2 minus 2 ln 3 divided by 2 ln 3. And this gives us negative 2 ln 2 minus 2 ln 3 over 2 ln 3. If you divide everything by kind of 2, you're going to get negative ln 2 plus ln 3, which can be written as negative ln 6. And the bottom one is just going to be ln 3. So it's just going to be the same thing as before. But if you use the plus sign, then you're going to get something more interesting because ln2 and negative ln2 are going to cancel out. And 2 ln3 divided by 2 ln3 is going to be 1. And those are going to be the solutions as before. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.